Fantastic uh, for you to join us. We are talking now about cubic functions. And just to have a, a quick summary of what we've done so far, we have linear functions where the highest power of x is 1, quadratic functions, the highest power of x is 2, and now we're doing cubic functions where the highest power of x is a 3, and to the power 3. We have reciprocal functions and exponential functions as well. So a cubic function, for instance, the function x to the power of 3 plus 1. And we have to graph it. In the second part of this video, uh, we are going to uh, solve uh, by looking at our graph. And we're also going to find the gradient at particular points um, of our graph. Okay, so um, it's always um, a good idea to have a rough idea uh, what the function is going to look like. Yeah, so sorry, that's what, actually what I wanted to say when I was getting this one. You know that the cubic function will always look somewhat like an S figure, okay? A line for a linear function, a beautiful curve, a parabola, I have to say, for a quadratic function, and a cubic function is some sort of S figure, okay? That's what we're trying to achieve. And I have made a fishbone table, a table of values, and I already have done four points, and we have to complete it, and usually you get like a point uh, for each coordinate you complete, so that's, that's very nice. If we check it for minus one, so I evaluate the function f for minus one. Then if you use your calculator, make sure to put some brackets there, eh? minus one to the power of three plus one. Yeah, because minus one times minus one times minus one is minus one plus one, and that is going to be a zero, okay? Uh, what about two? I'm not gonna write it all out. Well, okay, let's, let's do that. I'll do it for two, I won't do it for three. Two to the power of three plus one. Two to the power of three, how much is that? Is that six? Two to the power of three is two times two times two, eight. Very good, it's not six, eh? And eight plus one is going to be nine. Put a nine there. And a three, three to the power of three is 27. Very good, plus one is going to be 28. Okay, so those are my coordinates. I have uh, uh, seven of them. Uh, hopefully that's going to be enough. And where is my graph? Here we are. We're going to plot them now. So, um, the first point, minus 3, minus 26. Uh, as you can see, I have a particular skill, one on the horizontal x for one block and five vertically. Minus 26, 1, 2, 3, minus 5, 10, 15, 20. So that's not even going to fit. The next point, minus 2, minus 7. That should fit. Minus 2, minus 5. And then you should accurately find minus seven with your ruler and you use a sharp pencil, but it's gonna be roughly over there. Yeah, but you have to do that accurately. Minus one, zero. Minus one, zero is going to be over here. I'll put little crosses there for you. Uh, what else? Zero, one. Zero, one. And again, you have to do that accurately with a sharp pencil and uh, with a ruler to look at the skill that you are exactly at one. One, two, one. 2, okay, 2, 9, 2, 9, and 3, 28, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, all the way over there. And if I sketch it, or not sketch it, if I draw the graph, yeah, then one smooth curve through the points, Look at that beautiful cubic function. You see the S there? It is fantastic, yeah? Go to my next video. We're going to solve some questions by looking at the graph, and we're going to find out what the gradient is at a particular point. Okay, I'll see you there. ExplainingMaths.com for more resources. Bye-bye.